Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG Hub video and today I have created this effect in UE 4.27 Niagara and this looks like this on ground and for this effect I took reference from Twitter again and this effect almost looks similar and this guy created this in After Effects so I thought let's try it in Niagara and my effect almost same but i still like this version most and let's start this tutorial first of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification so basically i just created one this if i duplicate and move this effect this is whole thing that i created and then i duplicated and change color from here because i have a user parameter to change the color so i just duplicated it multiple times let me show you so first i had this that i created then I duplicate it, change the size and scale, scale and color. Then again duplicate it. Then here also I have this. Then I duplicate it six times. It also look cool. Okay. And let's start this. So I think I don't need to create this from scratch because this is very basic effect. I'll just show you my emitters and you will easily create your own. So I'll just remove all other uh, systems and I have just one that I created. So let me show you. And it has several emitters. okay so these are all duplicated versions so nothing complicated so first i have this squares very easy and material is very basic just uh, color so by default the sprite is a square so don't need to take the square texture or shape okay just emitting 500 particles nothing just took the torus location 200 radius and handle radius is zero Otherwise, there will be a thickness here that I don't want. So just I mean from a ring Velocity random on Z only uh, 10 and 200 Drag is default. I didn't change anything and particle scaling down and this curve is just a linear curve you can see and then this jitter position is doesn't changing behavior much because value is very less if i make it one now you can see these are like jittering i liked it so i thought let's put a small value so there will be just a touch of that okay and particle color is connected with user parameter that is by default blue and then i have this hue shift little bit saturation random random range random alpha and the size is 3 and 20 sorry 12 and this is velocity aligned and one more thing uh, I change the this pivot point of this sprite on Y and why I did that because if I'll show you this one this is Strix one and by default this should emit from here this should emit from here but if I take the center pivot it will little bit down and if i play all together see these streaks are coming from here i want everything from this edge that's why i just shifted the pivot point little up okay so after this is squares these are small so i duplicated and increase the size and decrease the spawn rate to five and increase the size 10 and 15 just nothing else just change these things again i duplicated this square renamed it as streaks same everything the spawn rate is 20 and here 
size is different i am stretching on y 1500 everything a part of this same then i have this ring and for this i am spawning 20 particles and color is again the same thing i just duplicated all things and then these are fading in fading out and i have dynamic parameter because here i am using mesh a slender and then this is the material that i am using so basically what i did let me show you if you take a texture coordinate and if you preview this this is your texture coordinate now you can take the mask for single gradient green okay and now this is what we need we need a white that fading but this white is very wide so you can take the power and then you can increase it like 10 so you have this and now i want these two little bit distorted so i took noise channel noise texture actually and in the uvs of this gradient i added this Mm, you can add it directly and you can see it's distorted but if you will multiply it with some value you can control the distortion okay and now you can adjust the you can pan this texture and you can also tile this accordingly okay so you will have this type of distorted gradient so when you will have this one what you can do you can randomize the pan speed in particle randomize the tiling randomize the distortion so that's what i did i'd make the same material but i made parameter for tiling for time of pan for these things and this is all going here okay and here in dynamic parameter ren uh, tile x is 6 speed is random distortion is random and tile y is 0.5 and i have also erode parameter here let me show you i am just subtracting this noise and then multiplying with my original effect so and in this emitter i am not using this erode parameter so it's by default minus one that mean road is not working then i duplicated this ring and changed the size little bit high in this one z is two and in this one five and alpha is very down here so this is faded one just then i again duplicated and increase the size to 20 in here in z then i use these properties are almost same and i used a road to point two if i make it minus one it will be the same but point five or point two will erode so i have this again i duplicated this ring and this time i made it black so all my effect will be visible properly if something dark will there so i just change it to black and then glow so this is uh, uh, again spawning particles on a torus but the velocity is very low and material is radial ramp and very soft alpha and fading in fading out and that is my spark sprite size 1500 so that's it very easy you just need to make one then duplicate and add more element I can also add uh, mm, lots of other elements in this but I just kept it in limited things okay so that's it and now you can duplicate and change color here it looks cool and you can also do one more thing uh, if I inverse this like if I take these three these three uh, particles and I rotation set to 90 and duplicate this <laughs> undo oops let me just 
oh I duplicated and if I again duplicate this one and rotate like this so this will also look cool and you can fit it inside a capsule or ring that has sorry cylinder that has a glossy feel and you can place your character inside that will look cool I think so I will just delete these things I don't require and that's it I'll put this file for download and you can just check this out okay so thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye